Dear OCD, who are you? Why do you exist? I want to understand you better. Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, or OCD, is a mental illness that affects around 1 to 3% of the population. People with OCD typically experience obsessions, intrusive thoughts, doubts, urges, or images that can make the person feel very distressed and anxious, and compulsions, repetitive behaviors or thoughts typically aimed at reducing the anxiety, fear, or disgust caused by obsessions. OCD is a disorder of the brain, meaning that OCD symptoms are caused by how the brain works. Knowing more about the relationship between OCD and the brain may help some people living with OCD and others to better understand the condition. The brain is the most complex organ in the body. It has billions of brain cells, which are grouped together to form different brain areas. These areas exchange information with each other, forming networks within the brain. In OCD, networks known as the frontostriatal loops are thought to be especially important. These networks affect the brain's ability to prioritize information. Imagine a frontostriatal loop as a busy traffic junction. There are cars, bikes and pedestrians that need to be managed effectively for the traffic to move smoothly. Traffic light signals help to direct how the traffic flows. If the timing of the traffic lights is off, the junction will no longer be managed effectively and there will be disruptions in the traffic flow. In the brain, the frontostriatal loops control the information flow and decide what is important and what is not. In a similar way to the traffic junction, researchers believe that imbalances within the frontostriatal loops may disrupt the information flow and could be driving obsessions and compulsions. For example, through imbalances in small chemicals called neurotransmitters. These imbalances may prevent the brain from regulating intrusive thoughts or suppressing urges to perform compulsions. This can result in OCD symptoms. Understanding the brain functions and imbalances that are involved in OCD is key to developing and improving treatment options. Thanks to scientific research, OCD is treatable through interventions such as cognitive behavioural therapy with exposure and response prevention and medication that aim to target these relevant brain networks. Discover what we currently know about OCD in the brain on this website.